it's been like three years ever since you watched the reel but i am back again your girl tendo and we are at the black panther wakanda forever premiere here at sk village and i am so excited to hear how the fans are feeling to see you know what they're wearing and to also just hear their anticipation of the film so why don't you come with me and let's hear some reviews before the film so we're here at sk village and i'm with some fans before they watch the film and i just want to hear how you feeling about black panther 2 and what do you expect to see um i'm really excited because we've been waiting for it for a really long time so i'm just really excited to see what they've got in store for us today yeah and you? Um, I was actually really expecting a lot as the first film, the first film was excellent. Yeah. So I'm sure this film will be even better. I'm expecting a lot of action. I'm expecting a lot of drama. I'm expecting a lot of fun. I am just um, curious. I just like so good. I know I'm going to be surprised. You know with Marvel there's always going to be those those surprises. So I'm coming in tonight with just an expectation of just some crazy surprises. So um, you see I don't know how like nerdy to get in this because I'm You always get nerdy. I'm super deep into the MCU so okay if you're wondering this is what I'm expecting alright so first of all uh, they're introducing Namor but they're calling him Namor in the trailers which got a lot of people confused because we've traditionally known him as Namor but let's see if they're gonna give him a whole like different I mean obviously there's the ethnicity tied to it and so on it's going to be interesting to see exactly how Marvel put this together. I'm looking to see how they're going to pay tribute to uh, to Chadwick, um, as uh, obviously the tragic news about Chadwick passing. So that's the main thing I'm interested in. And our homegirl, Danae Gurira, is in this movie. I can't wait to see Okoye in all her glory. Shout out to Danae Gurira. I'm with the Black Panther, guys. And how are you feeling coming out tonight, seeing the fans? I'm super excited. This is just absolutely amazing and I'm so happy to be here. We're celebrating Wakanda and, you know, I, I, I can't believe I'm actually in this suit. <laughs> yes, we also can't believe it. Who are you? <laughs> it's your girl Anita Jackson. Huh? Yay! Yes. <laughs> so, what are you expecting to see in the film tonight? Oh wow, I know it's going to be very emotional. I know I'm going to cry. Uh, the previous ones made me cry, so I know they're going to make me cry again. And you know, But I'm super excited. I can't wait to get inside and actually enjoy the film. You look so beautiful. What inspired your outfit? Wakanda forever, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. You look like you're going to be the new Black Panther. <laughs> I don't know. They'll have to decide. <laughs> so what are you expecting to be in the film today? Ish. Okay, so I've seen snippets. So I'm also like super excited to see who is going to take over after the death of um, what's the name? The, yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, I, I just want to see how Africa has taken this movie to the next level because they nailed it last time and whoo, I, I'm just waiting for surprises. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So who do you think is going to be the new Black Panther? Obviously the little sister. <laughs> this is Black Panther guys by Rare Vision and I'm here with SK sponsored by Charlie Stevens and I'm super excited. It's a weird movie, I'm not gonna lie. But definitely worth watching. Definitely worth watching. Yeah, like you say, it was a little weird without like Chadwick, because he's like the OG Black Panther, but it was really good. Like the way that they worked around it and they still paid tribute to Chadwick, it was incredible. It was um uh, depressing. I think honestly just the whole movie, there's something so uplifting about feeling represented by people that look like you, talk like you, have a history that's similar to yours. It's not like a 1.5 type, not like number 2, because maybe they wanted to introduce the new T'Challa, I don't know, it just, it didn't give me that. Okay, out of 10. Hi, boy, listen, I have an A. Ooh, let's give them 5. Yes. It's a number for like, Grace, eh? Grace to you, Black Panther. Yeah, no. <laughs> what was your honest? I have to agree to a certain extent with her. I think today's one was a bridge. I think this is a bridge to the main one. That's how I felt. Look, it was still good. I think good entertainment, good production. Marvel never lets you down. You know, it's always good to have this much ma ma male 
Mel, after taking up the ownership. Honestly, I enjoyed the movie. It still left a lot to be desired, uh, but I enjoyed it. Okay, so what was your Black Panther moment? Um, the fight, I think when Shuri fought um, the Aquaman, I'm forgetting that. Aquaman! Yeah, was, uh, Aquaman, the fishman. When she fought him, um, I was like, okay, this is a Black Panther moment because she almost died. I thought she was dying when she was stabbed. So when she then got the victory, I was like, okay, Black Panther right there. Yeah, that was a Black Panther moment. I enjoyed it. Yeah, right? I enjoyed it. But I think I need to rewatch it again. Me too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And one more time, thanks to Charlie Stevens International. I really enjoyed this. Okay, so you heard it from the fans themselves. Well, not all of them, but some of them. How they really felt after watching Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Personally, I'm on the fence. You know, I'm really a Marvel fan and Black Panther is so close to my heart. It's what started this reel. But, hey. I guess you have to watch it and share your reviews with us. Until next time, it's Wakanda Forever from me and mine to yours. Good night.